Back, we back is the cat with the Mac, cat with the hat. Um, aka we in the snack. I'm not, I'm not making my nickname, yeah. By the way, you already know, I've been sitting in other videos, depending on the fuck this come out, I don't know. Got a second channel. I'll link it, it'll, it's, I'll link it or whatever, whenever it's probably out or whatever. You'll see it, I'll do like some community shit, you know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd be that type of YouTuber, I'm doing community posts, but hey, I guess I'm that now. But anyways, we here to talk, we here to talk. Again, this is something that I feel like wasn't covered as much. Again, I know I'm late on this as well. But we're here to talk about this. Uh, Slim 400. If you don't remember Slim 400, um, he was blood, you know, running around with YG or whatever have you. Seen him in a couple Mozzie songs. I knew what he was. Was running around beefing with 6 9 in LA when 6 9 was at Complex Con. Basically, he did pass away. I think around in the pandemic, between 2021 or 2022, I believe he did pass away. And first of all, my condolences to Slim Four Hundred's family, his friends, of course, the fans. So my condolences to him. I, I was aware of him. I listened to him. So we're here to talk about it because we got an update in the case, basically. And the man that took his life received a lengthy prison sentence. And like, as much as we talk about these artists passing away, we do have to talk about when they get um justice in their name, even though they're not here today. We still have to talk about those aspects as well. So we're gonna talk about it. You know, and I'm going to give you my little thoughts about it. But anyways, you already know what it is. Like, subscribe, help your boy out, help your boy grow. You know what it is. You know I'm the kid. You know how time I eat a little bit, little flizz. Go to mob, go to militia, we in this thing. Yeah, man. Anyways, let's talk real quick. <clears throat> the 35-year-old, so I'm guessing that was the person that allegedly did the deed, will be spending the next three decades behind bars. Michael Terry, the 35-year-old man convicted of the... um unaliving of slim 400 will officially spend the next 32 years in california state prison after receiving his sentence on tuesday mind you this was published july 18th so i'm a little bit late on this okay so anyways judge atlas uh hudson hudson two i think that's a typo but anyways announced the sentencing after terry pled guilty to voluntary ma manslaughter in the case Los Angeles uh, County District Attorney George Gascon later uh, released a statement to the family of Slim 400. In the message, he reflected on the tragedy of gun violence in the community. <clears throat> Our hearts go out to the families of Mr. Koran. Koran? Koran? Sorry, I'm, I, I'm bad with last names, okay? An artist in the Los Angeles commu uh, community who was taken far too soon by the tragic act of gun violence, Gascon wrote, Our Community Violence Reduction Unit vigorously prosecutes gun violence to protect our communities. Gun violence has no place in our society, and we will continue to work closely with communities we serve to help prevent these senseless crimes. In addition to Terry, his co-defendant, uh, Tam Tamar, I'm guessing, uh, Lynn Bell pled guilty to felony accessory after the fact and is scheduled to be sentenced in January of next year. Slim was shot and killed in December 2021. See, I said 2021 to 2022 in Inglewood after getting into a heated argument with Terry outside of his home on Manchester Boulevard. He was found wounded on the ground and transported to the local house hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. He was just 33 years old. Police eventually arrested both Terry and Bell six months later. Slim was best known for his work with YG, with whom he collaborated on multiple songs. Over the course of his career, he dropped a total of seven studio albums. Be on the lookout for further updates on the Slim 400 case. Now, again, <clears throat> I'm happy his family. I don't know how many kids he had, but I'm happy his family get some solace from this. You know, and... They could kind of move on with their lives. Like, don't get me wrong. We all know Slim 400. He had some um, connections to the Bloods or whatever. And I don't know what this argument was about. If these people had prior beef or whatever have you, I'm not going to sit there. But I do know at the end of the day, somebody lost a son. Somebody lost a friend, a gang member, a brother, a cousin. You know what I'm saying? Somebody lost somebody that was important to them. You know, so it still is a sad situation. And we do got to come uh um commentate about we talk about a lot of shit that be going on a lot of beef that be going on 
and like label shit in the music industry and artists passing away so when there is some like good news or bright spots in the bad situation we also gotta comment comment on it as well i can't talk today bro but at the end of the day all i really gotta say is hey my condolences to the family the friends of uh slim 400 and yeah i'm glad that he got the justice now i ain't gonna lie three decades in jail is crazy i ain't gonna lie to you three decades my nigga in jail bro crazy that's really all I got to say. Craziness. But yeah, what do y'all think? Besides all that, your friendly neighborhood KA. Signing off for today, the black TJ there while they're doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like, subscribe. You try to hit a little bit more though, you heard me? I'm gone. Slime Zoom, peace, y'all. gang. Aye. <laughs>